Butter it, butter it, oh so good, oh so good, oh. Let's do this, finally, finally a full review of the Hoka Carbon X full review after my 24 mile long run today in these shoes and I realized fully really late to the game really late I think I saw a lot of other running YouTube channels publishing full review videos back in June so you're probably this is probably like water under the bridge for you you already know a lot about this shoe but uh, as you know I did a lot of trail running this uh, summer and so I was unable to put these shoes through the paces, but now we are at 76 miles, so we're well past the 50 miles, especially after the 24 today. And let's dive into a few specs real quick as we get going. Five millimeter drop, 32 millimeter stack height in the heel, 27 in the forefoot, so that five millimeter drop, basically right where I like it. Uh, and then in the weight in men's size nine, we're looking at 8.7 ounces, or 246 grams. And in my size, we are looking at 7.9 ounces or 226 grams. Now, on the upper, it's a single layer mesh upper, all right, through the toe bot, all around the shoe, single layer mesh upper. And it's uh, the, what's coming to mind when I think about the upper is it has no bells and whistles. It's simple. And actually, I was a little concerned, uh, you know, when I bought the shoe, if I was going to like the, how simplified the upper was, but sure enough, it's breathable. I feel, uh, I feel locked down and yes, there is a gusseted tongue. So what does that mean? Basically on the inside of the shoe there, there's a piece of material, uh, I'm guessing some sort of polyester synthetic uh, material that connects the tongue just underneath the insole of the shoe. And it's just perfect. It's just like it locks down over the top of your foot so, so well. So good work on the upper, no bells and whistles. Um, now I do have a concern I'm gonna bring up in a minute that does connect to the upper, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, moving on to the midsole of this Hoka Carbon X. So it's that pretty solid stack height, okay? 32 and 27. Yes, there is a carbon fiber plate. You can see it there through the outsole of the shoe, carbon fiber plate shoe for the Carbon X. Now, if you'll remember for my first impression vlog, I was a little concerned about the, uh, basically how firm the ride felt in the carbon. It just felt a little firm, not too soft. And for a 20, mi a 20 mile run, 24 mile run like today, I just, uh, I'm, I have to be careful for myself because of my injury history, which is why I've actually been slipping into the shoe underneath the insole, this Spenco, which is it's just a piece of uh, very, very light rubber. No, you know, there's no uh, support through this Spenco, but it just provides about another two to three millimeters of cushion. So for some shoes, for my long runs, I do add this Spenco uh, that you can buy from a lot of running shoe stores from Amazon, and uh, you cut it out in, with scissors into the shape of your foot, uh, in, ex excuse me, into the shape of the insole. Why not? I'll just pull this out right now so you can see it fully. So here we go. So there's the, there's the insole, and then here is the Spenco, and basically you cut it out to fit the size of the insole. So you slide it right into the shoe to help provide a little more cushion, just because I did sense uh, off of the first impression that it was a little firm through that midsole. Okay, moving on the outsole real quick. Not much to say, frankly, I like it. Now, I haven't raced in fast conditions in this shoe on a wet road. I don't know, I, I actually, if somebody has experience racing in this shoe in rainy conditions, I could foresee and you're turning sharp corners in a city and you're going fast, like I could foresee a little bit of slipping happening. Or you know how you're on a, a road and then there's a, there's paint on the road. I don't know if you've ever ran into that before, but I've seen a couple, I've, I've experienced a couple of situations where the paint is a little slick. So anyway, uh, no complaints about the outsole. It is smooth. You can see through to that carbon fiber plate. And yes, I don't know if you can see that there, right where my uh, finger is pointing. There's a rock uh, embedded right there. So not a major issue, but um, I did pick up a couple rocks 
over the past 76 miles. Okay, and moving on to the fit of the Hoka Carbon X, I went true to size, we're good to go, except for the one drawback I'm gonna talk about in a second. So fit was good, and for the comfort, again, no frills uh, comfort uh, through the upper. It's not like screaming comfort at me, but again, um, I'm feeling like that gusseted tongue is spot on for the Carbon X. For my positive and my drawback, the positive, oh my goodness, 24 miles today. I'm gonna go with bounce for the, the positive. I think it's that combo of the, the carbon fiber plate and the stack height and I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but I just felt a nice little bounce. And I was very, I averaged 640 a mile for the, for the long run. And uh, I, I'm just very pleased. I'm very, and so did this shoe help me uh, get through the finish line today on today's long run successfully? I'm gonna say yes. Like uh, my legs were tired after 20 miles, no doubt. But I was, I was never reeling. I was never like, ah. Oh, my legs feel dead here. So I'm gonna go with bounce for the positive. Good work, Hoka. I'm feeling feeling encouraged by what's going on through this midsole. Now the drawback, uh, I, I drew blood the first run right on the back, right on my Achilles tendon. Uh, so right here, actually on this shoe, you can see, well, it's almost gone now. So I, I, I figured it out and I put some band-aids right on the back of my Achilles tendon, but a little bit of blood drawn. So that is my drawback, even though I went true to size. I'm just, uh, what's going on there? I don't know, again, if somebody else is having issues with some rubbing through the Achilles tendon, let us know down in the comments. And now how will I use the Carbon X moving forward? Long runs, long runs. Now, Jim Walmsley, I just read, I, I just refreshed my memory. Uh, he has the world record now in the 50 mile and he wore this shoe and he averaged 548 a mile for 50 miles. Um, so it's definitely a shoe I think built for the long run. I wouldn't race in this shoe for a half marathon or a 10, you could, but I think there's better options out there for you. Now the price point, $180, mmm. I'm struggling a little bit. It's probably the mental game of me knowing that my heel is rubbing on the back of the uh, the heel collar there, and the, or the heel counter, I should say. So 160, I'd be, I'd be doing cartwheels to buy this shoe. 180 is like right on that brink. I don't know if I would buy it again at 180, so maybe just wait. I bet by I bet by uh, the Christmas season and and you know the shopping season around Thanksgiving, I bet this shoe starts to come down in price. I'm hoping for everyone out there that is interested. So I'm I'm on the fence for the price and the score, 7.25. All right, I almost went 7.5. 7.25 is not bad uh, for the score. Again, it's just that rubbing and uh, the first run, like it was almost debilitating. I almost had to stop and like. Anyway, I didn't have any Band-Aids with me, but um, so not a bad score, but I'm excited. Actually, let's just do it. Question of the day for all the Hoka fans out there. What are your predictions or your hopes for the Carbon X in 2020? All right, what will Hoka do to improve this shoe in 2020? I'm, I'm, ex I'm stoked. Can I use that word? I'm stoked to see what Hoka can, can come up with in 2020 for this shoe. I predict definitely a drop in weight. I'm hoping Hoka is able to pay attention to the heel counter issue that I'm having. So anyway, I'll be excited to read your comments down below. And that is it everyone uh, for my full review of the Hoka Carbon X overall solid shoe. I'm excited again for the future. And yes, we're gonna toss it back to on the right hand side, the Hoka Carbon Rocket. And on the left hand side, we're gonna go back to the first impression in case you wanna see my thoughts uh, 76 miles ago for the Hoka Carbon X. All right, love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.